as well. Yeah. So I hope this was really worth it to you. You really wasted my time and my energy today. I hope you have a better day. Oh, well, um, I was having a great day until you showed up and decided to waste my time. Do you mind if I close my door? I don't mind, ugly fuck. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done dating. <laughs> so last week, I saw this girl on Mutual. That's the Mormon dating app, and I'm on there because like. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to be with somebody with similar values and, you know, used to be maybe in the church and so they know where I'm coming from and I'm very upfront about like that I'm not active and all that. So anyways, I see this girl, very gorgeous. She's got like her business information and her phone numbers on her profile and she does like teeth whitening and esthetician stuff. So I texted her and I was like, Hey, I don't know if you knew, but your phone number's in one of your photos on your dating profile. And then, what did I say? I said, maybe it's intentional. Um, I'm very interested in you, so I was thinking if you're game, I could pay you to whiten my teeth. And then if you were attracted to me and we hit it off, I could ask you out on a date. So, I sent that on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday night... She texts me and she says, I'm getting evicted and I have $2,000 of rent to pay. And she put the the two, the two dollar sign after. So I'm like, oh, I'm getting scammed. It's a fake profile. You know, it's a red flag. Um, so I like looked her up a little bit and then I was like, oh, no, it's like a legit business. This is her number. And so I just sent her a really nice text. Like, oh, you know, I'm not, things are tough for a lot of people right now. I hope things look up for you. Like, if you end up getting evicted, let me know. I'll help you move your stuff out. Uh, didn't hear back from her. And then today, like, right as I was getting off drill, she's like, I charge $199 for teeth whitening. Would you like to do it today? And I was like, oh, I'm about to get off work. That could work for me. So um, I texted her. I was just like, oh, I'll be in uniform. Is there a place where I could change clothes? Because I don't really want to do it in my uniform, blah, blah, blah. And then so she sends me the address. And then she's like, it's downtown, so there's only street parking available. And I was like, okay. So at 4.41, I said, sounds good. We just got released, so I can be there in like 25 or 30 minutes. And so um, she sends me like some directions of how to get there. So at 5.10, what did I tell you? I said 25 to 30 minutes at 4.41. So 5.10, so 31 minutes, I was one minute late. I was like, just trying to find a spot. And I called her, cause like, there's only a couple spots out in front of her, whatever she rents there. And so I was like around the corner, I called her. I was like, hey, to see if one would open up. So, and then I texted her, I was like, hey, will you just see if one of those spots has opened up? And she texted me back, she says, yeah, I have something else to do after this. There's plenty of street parking. I don't know what kind of games you're playing. So now I'm like, oh, I must be in the wrong spot from what she's talking about. So I park my car where I'm not supposed to be parked in front of her thing. It says permit only. And I walk in and I'm like, hey, I must be confused because I don't see any spots open on the street to park in. And she's like, I told you you could park over at the Megplex with like all this attitude. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to pass. <laughs> I'm glad he decided to walk away at the first sign of disrespect and attitude, but she wasn't too happy about it, and decided to do this next. So I turn around and I start walking out the door, and this must not have been her first rodeo, because immediately she starts filming, and she chases me out the door. I'm not kidding. She chases me out the door. She runs over to my car, starts... She's like taking pictures of my plates. She's like, I'm gonna call the cops and I'm gonna tell them that, cause I told you there's a hundred dollar cancellation fee. I'm like, uh, I'm like in shock. Cause I like, I'm like, what is going on right now? So I'm like, okay, yeah, you can call the cops. Here's my ID. Like, cause she's like taking pictures of my license plate. I'm like, here, I'll make it easier for you. Here's my ID. You can take a picture of that and you can tell the cops this is who I am and they can look me up. And like, she's just like, I told you there's a hundred dollar cancellation fee. And I'm thinking in my head, I didn't really want to get my teeth whitened in the first place. So I was just trying to get my foot in the door for a nice date with a beautiful woman. <laughs> and so uh, she's like standing in the way of my door. So I can't shut it without touching her. And I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna, not gonna fall for that. So I'm like, hey, can I close my door? And she's, anyways, so I'm closing my door and she's like, you ugly fuck. <laughs>
I'm just like, okay, I'm getting out of here. So then she starts texting me and she's like, oh, just let it go. Um, so she sends me a hundred dollar request on Cash App. She says, <laughs> what does she say? She says, I'll be letting them know your base, probably letting me know. I'll be letting you know you're basically blacklisted to all women in Utah now. <laughs> I texted back, I think I'll be okay with a smiley face. <laughs> and so, and then she texts me and she says, I should be charging you the full price, the full $199 for wasting my time, but you can go on ahead and pay the $100 cancellation fee so that this doesn't have to get escalated any further and we can just go about our day and leave each other alone. And I don't respond. Then she sends me a link to a TikTok video that she's like prepped. And she's like, you can pay the cancellation fee or this TikTok video can go viral after I share it to multiple Facebook groups and my Instagram with 140,000 followers. <laughs> And like at this point I'm driving, so I'm just not even engaging and she's this whole time she's calling me, calling me, calling me. I'm like, I'm not answering the phone. That's yeah. She's psycho. I don't know what kind of mental health medication she's on, but it ain't working for her. She needs to find something else. And then she says, I don't understand why you offered to pay for teeth whitening just to waste my time. I know I should have charged you the full appointment up front like I do with all my other clients before allowing you to come waste all my time and energy. If you're a man at all, you would pay the cancellation fee for wasting my time. I did absolutely nothing wrong and I did nothing for you to treat me that way. And I don't deserve my time and energy to be wasted that you did that. He dodged a bullet, despite her doing all those crazy things, disrespecting him and threatening him for no reason she still thinks he's the one in the wrong. Absolutely no accountability. And then she's... And then she texts me a couple minutes later and she says, sounds like you have a business to frostbite food, so I'm gonna make sure that business does not go well. <laughs> and now she wants to destroy his business, all because he walked away from her. Absolutely ridiculous. What she doesn't understand is that I have nothing to lose <laughs> and I probably need that hundred dollars worse than she does right now. <laughs> So. And all publicity is good, good publicity. publicity. Yeah. <laughs> Frostbite foods. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. And she's like, I'm going to blacklist you on all the dating groups. I'm like, girl, I'm done dating. So go right ahead. I'm, I'm out. I'm going to be good. Be a passport bro. I'm going to go find me a nice young Brazilian lady to marry. Or you guys can arrange me a marriage. But I am so done. Like... Oh my goodness, so... If you enjoyed this video, I promise you'll enjoy this next video. I will see you there.